Cessna 736, Papa Lima, taxi runway 14, the wind's 090, 05, I'll turn that 2950. Welcome to hangar number three at Laredo International Airport, home of air operations for the United States Border Patrol, Laredo Sector. Well, this morning we are out on a more or less a routine patrol uh, looking for tracks of aliens that are walking through the ranch country, uh, mainly in the area north of Laredo and west of Interstate 35 and, and Highway 83. Our mission in air operations is basically to support the ground agents the, that are out there in the field in whatever capacity they happen to be working, whether it be uh, tracking, sign cutting, uh, traffic check, uh, train check, all the full range of duties that the Border Patrol agents do out there, we support them in their efforts. Well, which, yeah, you've got some stress involved. The, the, the flying is, is unique. It's, it's, it's all very low level. Uh, you're in a helicopter. You're, you're trying to you're looking for, for sign of the illegals. You're, at the same time, you're, you're trying to fly the aircraft. You're watching for wires. You're watching for trees. It's, it's very low level. And you throw in the, the high temperatures and, and the heat. And yeah, it, it makes for, a, it makes for a, a somewhat stressful environment. Lately, we've been doing about 500 to 600 apprehensions a month with the helicopters and air operations alone. That's not aliens that have been caught by any of the stations, but those are just apprehensions that air operations themselves were a part of. This is the OH-6A uh, Hughes helicopter. Um, ours, well, most of them were built in the late, mid to late 60s. They are a fairly old helicopter, but they are well maintained by our mechanics, and we've been using them for ever since I've been in the Border Patrol, which is about 10 years. The engine is an Allison uh, 250 uh, uh, C20B engine. Pretty much delivers all the torque and uh, uh, demand that uh, they need. This is the, can be most closely compared to bush flying, and these guys are good at it. Excellent, excellent pilots. Tomorrow night, we'll fly with these Border Patrol pilots and show you the art of sign cutting. For Laredo's Pro 8 News, I'm Danny Alcocer. Cessna 736, Papa Lima, taxi runway 14, the wind's 090, 05, I'll turn at 2950. When you think of sign cutting or tracking fugitives through the brush, you think of the 1800s. But the United States Border Patrol keeps up that tradition with helicopters. Most people don't have uh, very much of, a, of an idea of what Border Patrol actually does during the day, but our day, our day mission is primarily sign cutting or tracking. The agent goes out in the helicopter and assists the ground troops. They find tracks, typically group a group of uh, five or more aliens across the river and start inland. They pick up the tracks and they start following the tracks with the assistance of the helicopter and hopefully conclude by capturing the group. What most people find hard to, to believe is that we see the tracks from the helicopter and follow them along while we're flying. The sign could be anything from plain tracks where they just step out of them or it could be a little turned over rocks, broken stick, scuff mark. The, uh, the tracks, anybody can follow those but when you have to follow the sign. That separates the men from the boys. The, the teamwork effort between us and the ground agents is what makes or breaks the successful completion of a trail. We assist them by keeping them lined up on the tracks, suggesting ways that they can go to get ahead of the person that's on the tracks and look for the tracks up ahead so we can leapfrog and move the, move the tracks much quicker. We can keep the aliens pinned down in the trees or wherever they happen to be hiding because they know if they get up and try to move while we're in the area that we'll see them. Occasionally we don't see the aliens from the air. The agents walk right up and literally have to step on them to, to locate them. That's how thick some of the brush country is out there.
Well, tomorrow night on the last part of our series, Border Patrol Air Operations, we'll actually fly at night and show you how the forward-looking infrared system works. For Laredo's Pro 8 News, I'm Danny Alcocer. Well, flying helicopters for the United States Border Patrol during the day can be very demanding. But what happens when the sun sets and it gets dark? Uh, night operations and the type of work that we do, which is primarily low-level type law enforcement work, is considered about twice as difficult as the day flying. Well, yeah, nighttime, nighttime you've added that much more, that much more pressure to the deal, which in turn relates to, to working at a much higher altitude. You, you can't see power lines. Uh, they do not show up on the clear uh, trees. There's, there's a lot of things that kind of reach up and grab you in the dark. Our FLIR, which is an acronym, F-L-I-R, stands for Forward Looking Infrared, is a uh, system that's been around for a long time. Uh, we've just recently re acquired one. It allows you, it is a TV screen mounted in the helicopter and a, a round ball, the main FLIR ball, which is mounted on the side of the helicopter. The pilot, a pilot flies the helicopter and another pilot operates the FLIR moving the ball around, checking the brush uh, and the trains for illegal aliens. And you don't just see illegal aliens, you see anything that produces heat. I'm just coming up to the intersection, 58. Just comes up to the intersection. With the addition of the forward-looking infrared system, the United States Border Patrol greatly enhanced its nighttime capabilities. The illegal aliens can no longer depend on the cover of night. Twenty-one. How many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I count eight. Flying for the U.S. Border Patrol is what some dreams are made of. It's the kind of job you want to keep forever. Just ask pilot Joe Bradley, a seasoned Border Patrol agent who faces mandatory retirement in less than 15 months. Yeah, you're going to miss the sign cutting a bunch because it's the old man hunt every day. Uh, <clears throat> I'm also going to miss seeing all the deer and all the little animals on the ground every day. And I'll probably miss flying because I don't think you could ever find another job like this. For Laredo's Pro 8 News, I'm Danny Alcocer.